How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Level M Diecast. Definitely one of our favorite things here. We got Diecast Hall number big four zero. Throwing that up there. This is a little bit of a midlife crisis number. Who knows? We're not quite there yet. This is going to be a pretty varied mix. This mix might be a little bit more on the realm of where the collection's going. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Uh, did pick up another one of these uh, Hot Wheels motorcycles. Uh, this is the blast lane with the rider on the top. It says blue wheels. Looks pretty cool. Um, I just come across these. You know, I'll pick these up as I come across them. I just like them. I think they're super cool. Definitely looking for that hammer sled. That one's kind of cool. Pretty cool bikes. So they come with a rider on the top, which is attached. So we'll get our packaging out of here. So there is your rider. He's attached. I know his hand looks ridiculous, but it's because it wraps around the handlebars. So it looks a little ridiculous. Uh, blue wheels. Very interesting on that one. But the uh, rider looks kind of cool. It's got one hand kind of across his lap, I guess, which is kind of interesting. There is a logo on the back. Hot Wheels with a skull. Looks kind of cool. Some pinstriping on the bike. Some pinstriping on the gas tank. Looks pretty cool. Pretty cool details on this one for sure. I do like these. They're kind of cool. Sort of kind of sits there on his own, sort of. Um, Super Rigs. I uh, did put this up on my Instagram. A couple of new Super Rigs finally. Uh, been a while since we had a new case of these. This is a brand new color for the Desert Force. This is the mix on the back. Steel Power, Dine and Dash, Baja Battalion. Those are all existing decos. Desert Forest, brand new deco. Tall Order Hauler, that is a brand spanking new hauler. We do have that one. And then wrapping it up with C Nick Routes, which is just a reissue. So only two new ones in this mix. So Desert Force and the new casting. We'll get the packaging out of here. Just comes with this guy. I'm not sure if it says the name of the model on the bottom. Hyper Truck. I like the white wheels with the gold print on there. It looks cool. I think this print looks cool too. Just black with orange, uh, yellow, and red. Looks pretty cool. It's not too bad. It's a plastic model with a metal base. Definitely a uh, track car for sure, no doubt. This is the Desert Force truck. Really like this truck. It's a very uh, relatively conventional cab. Uh, kind of looks like a... Uh, international a little bit, a little bit of Western Star mixed in there as well. Definitely a hybrid hybrid truck. Uh, ridiculous exhaust coming out the back though, because you know it's a race truck. Looks pretty good on the bottom. Desert Force S28A, S29 is the day code on these. Of course, the trailer pops off. Not exactly the easiest. Chrome in there. Looks pretty good. White wheels with the same gold trim. Blue window does have an interior. This particular uh, cab itself doesn't do anything, but I think it looks super cool. Very beefy. Definitely has a bit of a rake to the back, which is kind of cool. And then this is the trailer. The trailer does have just a little bit of metal right here at the bottom. Other than that, it is all plastic. It opens up. So opens up. You can put a car in there. Uh, and you can take the top off if you want to. Um, opens up like that. So if you want to get into it, you can get into it. Little clips on the sides. Snaps right in there. Model goes in there. This one fits perfectly fine. Sometimes they don't always fit. Get the trailer back on there. and There is your Desert Force. Put that guy in the back. Blast lane. All right, we do have that brand new hauler here, of course. Tall order hauler. Hot Wheels Operation Transport Systems, it says. Uh, same mix, so no need to check out the back of the card. Let's get that out of here. Get the hauler out. Brand spanking new hauler. Always good to have a new hauler. Comes with the Muscle something. Boulevard Bruiser. Which looks not too bad. Of course, again, just a plastic body, metal base. Definitely more of a track car than anything. Just a fantasy car, so. I like the wheels on it, though. Sort of a sort of a Mustang flair to it. All right, this is our new hauler here. Let's go ahead and take the cab off and take a look at the brand new cab for the Tall Order hauler. 
There is a number on there. And then, of course, it says Hot Wheels Racing Technologies, El Segundo, California. Ridiculous engine detail back there. You got a couple of turbos on the sides. Probably a pretty decent piece for potentially for a customizer. These are probably the exhausts. Potentially, there is the front. Very, very realistic or very, very futuristic. Definitely not realistic. Um, but I kind of like these ridiculous intakes on the front. Kind of looks cool. Big, huge, uh, giant window. Of course, there is an interior in there. Offset size wheels. There is the base deets there. S29. Again, the date code. The light blue you see here is all metal. The rest of everything is plastic. So, always a lot of plastic on these. Here is the trailer. Uh, this bottom part is metal. Some tank details on there looks pretty decent. A little bit of print on the side of that as well. Details on the side of here. Got some numbers on there. Origin HTC 90245. Should be the uh, uh, zip code for Hot Wheels, uh, you know, corporate or whatever. Hot Wheels Transportation System says max capacity is 80,000 pounds. That would be 80,000 pounds with the trailer included and the truck to meet DOT regulations. But this one pops up just like this. And doesn't seem to... Oh, I see. So you pop it up and then you slide it back. And then that locks it in place. There's a little, little spot in here. Pretty impossible to see, but you just slide that back, locks it in, keeps the cars on there, doesn't drop down or nothing like that. But what it does allow you to do is now you can put cars in the bottom. So you can put two cars in the bottom, put two cars in the middle. So it holds two cars in the middle. And then you can also hold two cars at the top. Um, both middle and top sections have little divots in there for the wheels. So it'll hold the cars in there. And then, of course, just a uh, little ramp that drops down at the back, which doesn't seem to stay up very well not a whole lot of friction in there but we'll go ahead and lock this guy in here because we do have a bunch of hot wheels uh so what we'll do is we'll just load this guy up uh since we can so we'll just throw the boulevard bruiser in there to start with so we'll put him on the bottom and we'll start bringing out our main lines this is going to be remainders from the m case and then new finds from the in case in as in nancy Brand new uh, from the in case. This is the Land Rover Defender 90. Again, from the in case. Drop and egg, good old Wally's Marts. Um, it is also hitting some, some targets as well, but targets do have red editions in there. Uh, this is one of the best decos they've ever done for this model, definitely in my opinion. It says Land Rover on the side. Defender looks fantastic. Graphite gray. 90 on the hood. Really like that. This is Land Rover on there as well. No prints on the front, but I think that's fine. Same prints on the opposite side. A little bit of side marker detail, and then, of course, no prints on the back. That one looks super, super cool. So that guy's going to have to go. We're going to put him on the in the middle, on the bottom. Uh, new one from the in case. Uh, this is the Brutinator, uh, a.k.a. this is the Carbonator. Why they call it the Brutinator now, I don't know. But it says since 2012, which is when the Carbonator came out. Uh, I'm not really sure what Hot Wheels be trying to pull here. But this is your Brutinator since 2012. Uh, basically, they're just trying to act like the Carbonator never existed, I guess. They're just, just stacking like it never existed. Uh, this is a uh, bottle cap opener. Um, doesn't say anything on the base as far as the uh, model name, unfortunately. Because it would be easy to call them out on that. But uh, it's just a, you know, it's a bottle. They use this for New Year's celebration stuff and whatnot all the time. So throw him on the top. Actually, I'm going to throw him in the bottom because we don't necessarily need to be. Actually, he's not going to fit in the bottom. Put him in the middle. I don't think he's going to fit in the middle either. Struggle. Struggle bus. So it's very narrow. The middle part is extremely narrow. So you are going to put some cars in the middle there. It's, it's a toughie. All right, brand new to the in case. This is the Hot Wheels Green Speed. This is a recolor for this year. This is the E Pace, I Pace E Trophy Jaguar. Uh, I think there's also going to be a Zamic of this one this year as well. Uh, this one looks pretty good. I do like this wheel. This wheel is pretty nice. Uh, white with just some black print on it. A little bit of uh, gray on the side as well. No front or rear deets. 
because it's got extra print on the top and on the wing, which is metal, which is in part of the body. So pretty cool. I definitely like that model. That one is pretty nice, I think. Since he's the SUV, we'll probably leave him on the bottom as well. Next one up to the end case, brand spanking new casting for 2023, custom 68 Camaro. Uh, this thing is just bonkers in the Hot Wheels slammed segment. This thing is a matte blue, which looks fantastic. Got some Japanese logos on there. This thing is just wicked. Exhaust dumping out the side. Details on the front. It's got a black chrome interior piece. So that makes up the front end, the side dump exhaust, the engine, the inside, and then the two um, you know, wing posts off the back, but there's no wing. Open uh, rear end, so no uh, sections behind the rear tires. Big, huge, fat, wide tires in the back because, of course, that's what Hot Wheels does. This is definitely not a track car. Um, you can tell by the spoiler in the front, which does not move. This is 100% not a track car, but this is super cool. That guy definitely will fit in the middle, so we'll throw him in the middle. There we go. There we go. All right, regular treasure hunt. Yes, I was fortunate enough to find a regular treasure hunt. This is the tuned uh, Golf Mark One. There's your little treasure hunt logo in the back. Treasure hunt logo on the box on the uh, card. So get this guy out of there. There's your little uh, treasure hunt symbol there on the uh, C pillar, D pillar, whichever way you want to put it. Full deets on the front look pretty good. I like this one Volkswagen on the side. No prints off the back, little, little exhaust off the back, which is super cool. That's cool. Look at that. It's a whole treasure hunt symbol on the other side. That's super cool. You'd never know that unless you crack that open. That is super cool. So it's a treasure hunt logo and then Volkswagen. And on the opposite side, it's 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 switched Volkswagen and the treasure hunt symbol. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I like those kind of things. Uh, as far as base deeds go, you know, same old, same old. S22 date code for these. This guy is a little, little tiny guy, so we're going to put that little tiny guy over yonder. All right, new one for the in-case as well. This is the Honda CB750 Cafe. This is a new model for this year. This is the first recolor for this year for this model. Uh, don't think we'll have a third recolor. Third recolors are uh, relatively rare these days. Uh, the entire casting is metal with the exception of this just a little bit of white you see on the top that is plastic. It says Honda on the side. I really like this. They came out with a new wheel which was desperately needed. Um, it is a one-piece wheel. It's just painted with a gray stripe around the outside so it looks like it's a two-piece wheel. But this one is fantastic. This one also has an integrated kickstand um, so that it stands up and doesn't fall over which is really, really cool. All right, some leftovers from the M case that I got out of the N case uh, because they were tough to find. This is the Toyota Tacoma, a.k.a. the Taco. Uh, this is the third color we are seeing for the Taco. People are going kind of uh, crazy for this one. I don't see why. It's just regular white with some blue wheels. I think the original release in that electric blue was way better. Uh, but just my opinion... Full front rear decos on this one. Uh, rays on the side. Those are not Rays wheels, but uh, it's it's whatever. Maybe people are going crazy over it because it's Rays. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Let's move our E-Pace, I-Pace. Trophy, trophy there. We're going to put that guy there. Uh, another one from the M-Case carried over into the N-Case uh, that people were going crazy for. That was tough to get. 2024 GMC Hummer EV. This is because it's from the Barbie movie. So I guess people be buying it up just because it's from the Barbie movie, which is ridiculous. It is just a gray with some um, you know, zigzags or whatever on the side. Kind of interesting looking. Um, I think this one's different casting. This is definitely a different casting from the uh, Hummer EV we've already seen. So this one is, this was a new casting. Because the other one we have saw had a truck bed on it. Uh, and the top was a bit more uh, closed in than this. So I didn't realize that. Maybe that's why people are going crazy over this. Because this is a new casting. Very interesting. Okay. There you go. Brand new casting. Uh, it says Hummer in the front. Looks pretty good. Just looks as good as the uh, existing one that we had. 
prints on the back as well. So this guy gets all kinds of print. Well, GMC logo at the bottom of the tailgate. Interesting, interesting. I didn't realize that was a new casting. Maybe that's maybe that's why people are going crazy over it. So so be it. All right, some more SUV action from the M case. First time seeing the Ford Bronco R in the main line. This has been a premium model for first couple of releases. Now we get one in the main line, which I'm super happy about. It does have Borla Attack on the side. It says number 78. I think it looks fantastic. Of course, modified for mainline duty. So definitely been, um, you know, streamlined, I guess is the right word. I was trying to think of the right word. There is a 78 on the hood. It's kind of a uh, kind of ghost. And then there's a little Borla right here, which looks kind of cool. Definitely like this. This is a great casting. Really good casting. Glad that they came to the main line just to uh, you know, just have something a little bit easier to have and uh, easier to work with. With plastic bases, definitely easier than metal bases. All right. New to the M case. This, I'm sorry, the N case. Uh, this would be the Super. Should it be a Super? So if you're looking for the N case, this would be your Super. Porsche 935 in 75th anniversary, blue, gold, and red. Absolute fantastic deco with those arrow blades on it. Nothing fancy with this casting other than just a couple prints on the side. Does say Porsche on the wing and does have that gold and red stripe on the, on the uh, front end there with your Porsche logo. It's a really good model. I really like it. Too bad it's not a Supa. But uh, if it was a Supa, I definitely would not be cracking it open for sure. That guy will definitely fit right there. A uh, few more to go of main lines. Uh, one more brand new model to the in case. Another Porsche. Porsche 928 S Safari in gray. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. Howells has been making some very obscure castings, and I'm, I'm kind of digging it these days. There is some um, deets on the side. There is some names on there. I'll get that to focus a little bit. Maybe some designer names. They are, uh, looks like most of them are American flags. You can see a better, better deal on this side. Man, you just can't read those names. It's not a perfect tampo, unfortunately, on this one. Uh, really good detail for the cargo on the top. Spare tire in the back, of course, because it is a rally, kind of an overland version. Uh, very interesting to have print on just the interior four headlights or uh, fog lights, but not the actual headlights or anything else, which is very, very interesting. They'll say Hella on them. Those are actual branded lights, which is kind of cool. Sparco, of course, your 75th logo on the back here. This one is not a very good deco version. You can see a lot of deco coming off on this one, so... Might have to source a new one. There is the base Deets, of course, made in Malaysia. Like they always are. I think this guy will fit on the bottom. There we go. So that fills our hauler up. Uh, carryover from the M case. Uh, this was the, I believe this was the super of the M case. Um, if you were lucky enough to find a super. I couldn't even find the mainline version of this guy. So now I have it. This is the good old Mighty K. Of course, this is all about Ryu for sure. International Racing Circuit. Looks like pretty cool. Some details on the side. No uh, prints on the back. And then, of course, there is the R symbol right there on the front. Looks pretty good. So, other than that, nothing fancy. Just the same old Mighty K that we are used to. So another little pocket car we'll put on that side. All right, the last main line I got is a doozy, I think. This is brand new to the in case. The Bugatti Bolide, uh, very interesting casting. I was uh, really excited to see how Hot Wheels has executed this in such a mundane line because uh, this car is just such a involved uh, thing in real life. So the window piece is relatively large. You see that there. Looks like the kind of openings and cuts look pretty decent. Can see through the rear wing. Kind of interesting. Kind of hard to see through there, but you can see through the rear wing. So that looks pretty good. Uh, looks like the window goes through the back section here. It's really, really dark. 
um, but you can see through there. I would anticipate there's probably some engine detail. As far as the cuts and stuff on the side, ooh, look at that. Very nice. The taillight prints on the back, again, not a very good print. Not a very good print, you can see, unfortunately. So this one's a little tough to find. I've only found one so far, so this is the only one I got. Uh, definitely not a track car either. This one is very, very low to the ground, very, very wide. Um, I think they did a pretty, pretty bang up job. They did a really, really good job of executing this in 164. I thought that it would be very difficult. Um, but I can't wait until somebody like Mini GT does it because then we're really going to be set with a treat. So I'll put this guy maybe in the front. Move our bikes over a little bit. Maybe put our mini cars. Got some, got some other stuff here. All right, uh, some bigger items. Uh, I picked up a NO64 as well. This is the newest release for the R33. This is the LM Limited, kind of a kind of a baby bluish kind of color. Um, I do take the plastic off. Um, I don't uh, open up the uh, model itself, but I will take the plastic off. So crack that open. At least get the plastic out of there so we can get a better view of the model. Fantastic. Of course, you guys know we love R33 here at Level M. No doubt, this one looks fantastic. Always happy to add another one to the stable. Nothing fancy other than that. It's pretty standard. That's kind of cool. Little uh, silhouette of it in the back, which is kind of nice. So kind of set that guy there. Just going to kind of drown out that uh, hauler. Just the way it's going to be. Uh, picked up a uh, Tarmac Works. This is the latest release of the Gunther Works uh, Porsche. Uh, this is the black carbon. So there was a green, kind of an emerald green release. Then they did a yellow one uh, with a little bit different wing, or I should say uh, spoiler in the back. Um, and now this is the newest one uh, in black carbon. So it'll give you a rundown right there. 993 remastered by Gunther Works. Black carbon fiber, 164 scale. I absolutely love these ones. They have the coolest boxes. So it is magnetic open in the front. And then it folds down as well. There's a second piece in there. And then there is your model, which comes in the standard acrylic. There is the box. Nothing fancy with that, but it is a very, very nice. It says Legend Reborn. Just snaps in there with the... Love it. Magnetic. This is the Gunther Works. This thing is absolutely bonkers. Look at all the carbon fiber. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. Absolutely love it. Such a good, good, good model. Really nice deeds in the back. You see all of that carbon. Full carbon. Full on carbon up in this biz. Um, it's just, it's just good. This one is by far uh, the best of the three released thus far. Definitely, definitely, no doubt about it. Nothing fancy on the back. Just tarmac for good. Tarmac for good. You know, they do uh, give to a good, um, you know, good charity type stuff. Tarmac does that. So kind of throw that guy on the top. And then I actually picked this up today. Um, this is oops, This is a chase piece. This is a new... Chase release for the 87 Buick GNX. This is number 24. Um, I do have some more muscle machines coming um, in, a, in a purchase I made. Uh, probably won't be here until later in the week, but uh, I do have all the new releases. This one is very interesting. I haven't even seen anything about this one. I just happened to find it. Just happened to be hanging on the peg. Um, so I'm super happy about that. Unfortunately, I don't like the fact that that is in there. That's a uh, sticker that's like an in interior inventory code. That's uh, um, Walmart's been using, that EPC. This one's interesting because it's inside the blister. So normally these are stuck on the blister on the outside, but that one is actually in the blister. As far as the release for this one, that is your release list there. Um, the only one that hasn't been released so far, um, I think, is the Quattro and the Cadillac. But uh, I did pick up the Cadillac. The Cadillac's on its way to me. So that one is in the works. We're just going to kind of sit that guy sort of in the side-ish. 
Um, not that big a deal, really. It's just the muscle machines. Also, I finally, finally got my 70th anniversary Matchbox bus mail-in promo in the mail. This is comes in a Matchbox branded blister. So we'll just pop this guy out. It says Matchbox on there. There is the model, 70th Route Master, it says at the bottom, in a brilliant silver. Does have Matchbox on the side, 70th, really nice orange wheels. The UK flag, Tottenheim on the side, since 1953, 53 on the front, full deets on the front, looks fantastic, says Matchbox on the plate. And then on the back, fully decoed up, of course, looks fantastic, and then there's a nice big Matchbox across the top. Very, very high quality prints. Uh, a very, very unique card. And the card looks fantastic. Looks really, really good. Just regular details on the back. Nothing fancy. Really liked it. It's not a cut card. Uh, no, unfortunately, I am not going to crack it open. Uh, but I will show you the day code. It is S18. So they made these uh, quite a bit ago. Uh, to have these ready for the mail-in promo. Which the mail-in promo ended at the end of August. So... Um, if you were in the U S, um, you had to purchase it or send in your, uh, mail in by the end of August it had to be postmarked. If you were in other countries, um, I think you could just buy this model and you didn't have to mail in for nothing. You could just buy it. So I'm going to set this guy, maybe, I don't know. We'll bring him back in. I got, I got a couple more items. Now, as you can see from this haul, obviously I'm trying to, elevate the collecting just a little bit just a little bit a little bit better quality um i actually picked up both of these models from instagram uh i bought these from valk hwc um his name is peter uh i've been following him for a little bit he sells stuff frequently uh never actually buy anything from him but i finally pulled the trigger because i really am going to try to get some holes cleaned up in my uh mini gts and of course, the easiest way to do that is to focus on some of the older GTRs because there's a lot of them. These were two I didn't have, Metallic Brown and Magic Pearl. So Magic Brown is number 69. So I just got these today. I haven't even pulled them out the box yet. Um, but he told me there's nothing wrong with them. I have no reason to think otherwise. Oh, this one's really nice. Really nice. Look at the carbon hood. Carbon hood looks fantastic. The print around the grill, really, really nice. Well, normally we do uh, showcases for Mini GT, but I only have two for now. I got uh, a couple more things coming, but really, really stoked about this. Really, really happy. So really happy to mark off a couple more off the list. Really, really nice model for sure. So put the plastic back in there. Get the flap to hopefully cooperate with us a little bit. The box to cooperate a little bit. And we get the... There you go. So this was a Bishop exclusive. So Bishop does a lot of uh, exclusives and stuff like that. They are um, not of the U.S. origin collectors. But, uh, you know, they're good. This one, this one is a... DY, DSYAS special uh, coatings version for Magic Pearl. This has the old school ugly boxes with the cut flaps that I absolutely hate. Hate with a passion. So we'll pull our Magic Pearl, which basically looks silver to me. Ooh, wow. I don't know if I, I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera, but look at all the like the, the, the gold and silver and green and yellow like oh my god look at that that paint is ridiculous look at that oh man look at the wing oh this is super cool man i was like oh it's just crazy stupid silver but uh look at all the colors oh man that is so cool oh this model looks so good i think this might be my favorite gtr now might be my favorite GTR. Looks super cool. 
Oh, it's super cool. It's got bronze wheels on it. Definitely don't like the wheels. Uh, I like the bronze. I just don't like the wheel style. Um, but this is fantastic. This is really, really good. Really, really good. Really cool. Really cool. I really like this one a lot. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. Super happy with this purchase for sure. Um, let's see here. These are some older ones. I'm not sure what these go for. Uh, but I spent about 30 bucks a piece for these, which... Um, you know, I think is a perfectly fair price. Uh, these ones are very, very difficult to get. Obviously, they were already opened, um, but there's nothing wrong with them. So we're going to throw those guys into the collection. Um, kind of want them in the shot. Kind of get them in the shot, sort of. Yeah, it is what it is. So there we go. That is the haul. That is episode 40 of the Diecast Haul. Um, not a huge haul, but really, really cool stuff. Uh, especially like these mini GTs. These mini GTs were, were really, really good. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to put those in the front because, uh, cause I can, cause I'm the editor in chief, so to speak, and, uh, throw that matchbox up there. So it shows. So anyways, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Catch you next time here on level M. Appreciate it. Peace.